Good morning students, good afternoon and good evening. Well, I am back with the second part of noun numbers, okay? So before I begin, let me just uh, you know, write down the date. It's the 18th of June and it's a Thursday. We are doing part 2, the second part of noun number. Now children, before moving on to the new part, I would also like to tell you like, yes, I suppose you all know, this is the book and this is the chapter. Okay, this is our fifth chapter according to the teaching. Okay, whereas as far as the content is concerned, it is the sixth chapter. Okay, because the first chapter I skipped, it was like looking up a dictionary. I want to do it in presence of you. Okay, that particular chapter, not through virtual platform. So, here this is the chapter. I had done this table with you and I had also given you an exercise. Now, today children, I am going to do, before I begin with irregular nouns, again let us do a recapitulation. What is a noun number? Noun number means singular and plurals of nouns. So, previously I had told you what happens when you have uh, nouns that end with S, okay, X, isn't it? Double S, C, H, then again that which ends with Z, okay? For example, quiz becomes squeezes, lens become lenses, okay? Then uh, zero becomes R, O, E, S. So what happens with the ending words, okay? Then double O, Z, double O, Z becomes with Z, double O, S. Similarly, uh, noun which we, uh, ends with F, chef. So it becomes chefs, okay? Then I-E-F, that is E-F becomes V-E-S, okay? Thieves, T-H-I-E-V-E-S. So these were certain rules which I had asked you to also go through because I had sent you a screenshot of the same, right? Now today, we are going to do irregular nouns okay we are going to do irregular nouns so for example the word is man it changes into men so what is this the vowel the vowel changes okay so if it is man it changes into men similarly if it is woman okay woman it changes into women. You pronounce it as V, but you write it as W. Okay, women. We say women, not woman. That's wrong, okay? That's wrong pronunciation. Similarly, tooth becomes teeth. So what happens? The vowels in it changes. You see, the vowels in it changes. So, these are called irregular nouns. Now, when you have a word like, say for example, child. We don't say childs. Okay, we say children. So, what happens? A new word forms. Okay, what happens? A new word forms. So, similarly, person. It becomes not person, it becomes people. It becomes people, not persons. That's wrong. It becomes people. Okay. Now I'll take up more, but let me erase the board because if I start writing at the bottom of the board, it becomes a little, uh, you know, uh, blurred for some of you to see the bottom of the board. It's not visible in the camera the lens now before i continue again i hope you all are all keeping well staying safe because there are a lot of developments isn't it there have been a lot of rises in the cases so do not leave the house on any condition okay only those who need to go out may go out like my area you know it's some of the areas nearby to my locality have been declared as containment zone. So we also have very, very restricted movement. Okay, I stay somewhere close to the 
biggest market out here, one of the uh, vegetable market, I suppose you know, regulated market. So I'm close by to that, you know. So all those staying in Pradhanagar will know the condition. So everybody take care. Now when there are words like dear, okay, there is no change. And it's a plural word, there is no change. Similarly, sheep, sheep also, there is no change. Then also another word, we keep speaking wrong English, aircrafts, it's wrong. Aircraft only. Aircraft means it's plural and singular, both are same. Okay? So no plural form is the same. Whether it's singular or plural, it's the same. It stands same for both the number words. Now similarly, scissors. A pair of scissors. Okay? So the Word itself is scissor, so it becomes a plural. There is no scissor, anything called scissor. It's wrong. Similarly, socks. We say a pair of socks. That means one pair. If more than two pairs of socks, okay, two pair of socks. Then, binoculars. Binoculars, it's plural, okay. Then we say spectacles. Spectacles is also plural, your specs, okay, your specs, that's called spectacles. So, there is no singular word to it. These are all irregular words. They are different from the leg, regular, okay. Now, similarly, when it is, I want to take this up, okay. Sister-in-law. When you're talking about more than one, sister-in-law is like my bhabi is called my sister-in-law. Now, if it is more than one, then we say sisters-in-law. Not sister-in-laws. That's incorrect. Fathers-in-law, brothers-in-law. Understood? This word has an S to it. Similarly, okay, when we say passerby, passerby means somebody going beside me, that's called a pass. We do not say passerbys, we say passersby. Okay, so we tend to make this mistake. Not only children, um, um, students of class five, but also we as teachers also at times make mistakes. Okay, so this is something which you have to be very, very careful about. So now the chapter comes to the end. Okay. There are few exercises. Now, before that, children, I would like to tell you. Now, I have done comprehension worksheet with you, right? Now, this particular live class also, I will take up a comprehension worksheet. Today, I am not sending you the comprehension worksheet because it will get mixed up. It will get jumbled with today's exercise and that with what we are going to do for the live class and what we had done in the previous week. I want to take up the um, comprehension worksheet in the form of multiple choice question, okay? MCQ uh, in our live class. Not now while I'm teaching you noun number, okay? Not now. So now here in this chapter, you will come across, I'll just take up one one exercise. Of course, you get the answer keys. That is why I don't ask you to mail also. What you have to do is you're going to underline the singular and the plural and write it under the column. So hunter becomes S, wolves becomes plural. This is for one exercise which you know. Now similarly, another exercise is whatever you know, type the noun is it, like whether it's a plural, you have to change it into singular and if it is a singular, it will change it be into plural. For example, he toppled, topple means falling down, he toppled, this is what was given in the book, and fell off the Cliff. So you're going to now mark here. 
one F, not T S, so it will have S. Okay? He will also change. So what are the words which are going to change? This and this. He becomes they. And same thing, they toppled and fell off the cliffs. Okay? So this is going to be this and this is going to be this. Alright, this is the second exercise show. Now, exercise number C, what I will give you is you are going to choose the correct you know, noun number or the correct word from the bracket and fill in the blanks. For example, I have to dash in the bracket child children what will i write i wish i could hear you say man children yes i have two children and honestly i have two children a son and a daughter all right so this is exercise number c all right children this is exercise number c what is going to be given as homework and these are all going to be done mostly in your book and two are going to be done in the notebook. So I'm going to give you one week time to complete that. You need not worry if the live class comes up tomorrow because uh, today's Thursday. So tomorrow we'll have the live class, isn't it? So never mind. You will get a lot of time. You'll get one week time because the answer keys are going to be also uploaded in the students portal. And children, there is also one more thing. If you're unable to download your AV, please immediately get back to us in the school's mail email id info at the rate dps fulbari silburi .com. or you can look up the phone numbers not my personal number children the phone numbers of the school for the technical reason and if anything related to academic you can of course get back to us in the class email id which is dpsfb.five at the rate gmail.com anything related to subject and within a week's time maximum we will reply to you irrespective of whichever subject all right and then this 21st june is of course father's day as well as uh, international yoga day yes what is everybody saying you must meditate you must breathe in and breathe out okay that relaxes you know that takes away your tension your stress because you're in front of the computer you're in front of the com ipad you're in front of your tablet maybe you're in front of your uh, in front having your mobile phone with you okay and also children there are many children who are not watching the videos or attending the live class please 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 if you're able to get in touch with them please tell them to watch it because you know, these are very important classes which will not be repeated, children. We are taking a lot of pain to prepare the lessons for you, you know. We are taking, we are staying awake almost throughout the night, you know, to make it attractive so that, you know, you all can also understand without being physically present in the school or inside the classroom of your school, isn't it? So we really have to work hard so that this is being able to be understood by you. And also, children, do not get worried. After this chapter gets over, we'll do a lot of revisions for periodic assessment one. So you must knock on your friends who are still not through with their lessons, who are not aware of their live classes, who are not aware of their uh, audiovisual classes. They must, must, must get in touch with the school to see it, to download it because exams will begin as per schedule from next month, okay? And there will be no repetition of the class, only revisions will be taken up. You know, we can have interactive sessions during live classes and maybe two to three audiovisual class before it begins. Okay, children? So take care, be good. Yes, look after your health. Your health is your priority and that of your elders as well. Now, the last uh, exercise what uh, we have here is there are some mistakes in sentences which have been written. You have to rewrite them by correcting them. Like for example, we need to buy, yes, this is something. 
New office furnitures. No, it's wrong. Furniture itself means it's like plural. Similarly, crockery. We do not say crockeries. That's totally incorrect. Crockery, the word itself means it's plural. So these kind of errors you will have to go through and try to do it on your own. So exercise B and exercise D children, you will do it in the notebook. And exercise A and exercise C. Exercise A and exercise yeah, exercise A and exercise C, you will do it in the textbook. Textbook is this and also this exercise which I had given you. Only exercise B and D to be done in your grammar notebook. Grammar notebook and creative notebooks are same, isn't it? Only thing what you have to do is divide the notebook into two parts. Divide the notebook into two parts and the first part is for grammar, second part is for creative writing and as I said do not worry children you will do a lot many revision exercises okay as I said you must watch the national news on TV because it improves your vocabulary um, you know and also makes you speak and identify correctly spoken words okay the tenses you see what they speak on the national channel the tenses are absolutely correct when it's a present, it's a present. When it's a future, it's a future. When it's a past, it's a past. They speak proper in English, okay? So watch the news, yes. And as I said, have turmeric mixed with milk. That's very good. All those who do not have, who are not allergic to milk. Otherwise, avoid junk food. That's it. Eat homemade food. It will automatically give you immunity. May I take leave, class 5? Bye.